Oh yeah, and hey, let's add a third one to this real quick because it's one that uh, you're not going to really see the result for uh, right off. But this, uh, you could use this in the game if you wanted to, I guess. But, um, you know, as far as park building and, and just not wanting to have to deal with uh, issues when you're recording your videos, uh, Frontier, F-R-O-N-T-I-E-R. Use that one and uh, the rides and the coasters will not break down. So at least you don't have to deal with that while you're recording videos and such and having the messages pop up or wondering why peeps aren't getting on a ride. Um, so there you go. Alrighty, so here's another one that's related to recording. Um, it's kind of an interesting little one. Uh, let's select the peep here. I'm just going to let it be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, J-O-N-N-Y-W-A-T-T-S, Johnny Watts. This is one of the ones where you get um, to see a reaction or a result right away. I'm going to hit enter. And what we are doing right now is we have a peep cam. So there's a camera that is just overhead of a peep. And if we click on the next car we click to another peep and you can see the name right here so pretty much you can see the game through their eyes now you can also change to a cam that just kind of points to that particular person and you can kind of cycle through the people if you want to that way um, actually it looks like it's just bouncing between two here here um, and then depending on which camera you have you can kind of swing around and get different angles. So if you were uh, wanting to have certain special uh, recordings of your park, you can have it through their eyes. When you're done, just click on Leave Coaster Cam and you're back to normal. Hey, you, you still there? You didn't leave me, did you? There's only 27 more of these to go. All right, there's only a couple more. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on some walls, and we're going to try to stick them on paths. And it doesn't really matter where I click here, it's just not going on the path. So, I think I know, I think you know what is coming next. We will replace this with M-B-R-O-O-K-E-S. Don't forget the E. Enter. Now let's try that wall again. And there you go. We're now putting walls on paths. Now it's on the edges of the paths, not the middle. It can't cross over in the middle of the path, but it at least can go on the edges of the path. Like such. So there you go. That is M. Brooks walls on paths. If you've ever recorded any of your own rides with, I don't know, Fraps or some type of game recorder, there's a good chance you needed to use this. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've seen videos that I wish people had used it, but maybe you don't know. So that's what this is about, and I think you will enjoy it. So I'm going to click on a peep, and I'm going to once again replace the name. This time it's going to be David Walsh, D-A-V-I-D-W-A-L-S-H. And take a look at the screen here, all the little icons with the user interface. I'm going to hit enter, nothing. But now I'm going to hold down the control key, hit U on the keyboard, and now it's all gone. Control U again, back. Gone, back, gone, back, gone. So now, if you were to record a video with a built-in game recorder, or not the built-in, with uh, something like Fraps, or if you want to use the built-in recorder, which is Control-Shift-F11, there you go. You can record and not have all of that ugly user interface. So that's a good one, and please do use it.